Who am I? Now you may be asking yourself, who is this person on the screen in front of me? And you can see that I'm male, Angmo, or Caucasian, oldish due to my mixed hair colour. But you're also thinking, who is he? Where does he come from? Why should I listen to him? What does he want me to do next? As people met Jesus for the first time, they were asking that very question. And Jesus was answering them by what he did and what he said. He taught with great authority. He healed the sick. He touched lepers. He cast out demons. He taught in parables. He calmed the storm. He fed 5,000 and then 4,000 people with practically nothing. Who is this? is the question on everyone's lips. And in Mark chapter 8 from verse 27, Jesus asks his disciples, who does the crowd say that I am? And who do you think I am? And Peter gives this brilliant answer, you are the Messiah. Peter gets it so right. But then straight away, Jesus talks about his death and he's rising to life after three days. In fact, three times in Mark, Mark chapter eight, chapter nine and chapter 10, the study for today, Jesus explains that he will soon die at the hands of others, but that he'll also rise again. And note that he will also rise again. Who is this that can rise from the dead? Now Mark, the gospel writer has told us who Jesus is right back in the first verse of the very first chapter. Mark writes, Jesus is the Messiah, in other words, the Christ, the Son of God. And if we believe what Mark wrote, then in Mark chapter 8, Jesus then has a challenge for us. If we truly believe that Jesus is the Messiah, the Son of God, and I do, just as many of you who are watching also believe, then Jesus calls on us, those who follow him, to follow him to his death by dying to ourselves and instead to live for Jesus. After all, these are our baptismal promises that we made, to daily take up our cross and to follow him. Have a read of Mark chapter 8, verses 34 to 38. So pray with me. Jesus, thank you for who you are, the Messiah, the Son of God. Each day, help us to believe this more strongly and be willing to take up our cross, as you did. Enable us to die to ourselves and to live for you more intentionally. For your glory we ask it. Amen.